Hey, I'm the Impatient Gamer. If you are as impatient as I am, then you don't want to listen to me talk. So just skip to the next chapter if you don't want to hear me talk about why. But if you do want to hear the backstory, then here it is. So I wanted to do a review of Silent Hill 4 because it's the most hated of the original Silent Hills. It's also the only one that you can buy legally off of a website. So I bought it on goodoldgames.com. And it is very playable. It gives you 4K resolutions, even though they're stretched. Um, it fixes the controls, but it goes from broken to just bad. And it generally, it works and it's playable. Silent Hill 3, at least, doesn't boot at all without any fixes. There's a way to change the controls in game. And I was in that screen for about two hours and it was horrifying. It was terrible. It was, I, I, I had a terrible time. Um, it was very hard to use. It, it kept messing up. It wouldn't let me do the same control for two things that were in different screens, all this kind of bullshit. So I did not realize until I searched Silent Hill 4 controls that there actually is a config tool on good old games version. Um, and so that's what we'll be using here in this tutorial. Uh, the, the configuration tool is much easier, um, but for some reason the good old games version doesn't mirror the original PlayStation 2 controls. I don't know why they would do that, but um, this tutorial shows you how to use the config tool, and it also shows you how to map the controls so they match the PlayStation 2 controller exactly. Um, I've also labeled the PlayStation 2 controller so you can see like the numbers of each button, because in Silent Hill it says it's like button 11, button 10, button 9, but what the hell does do those mean? Also, I'm using an Xbox controller. You can use a PlayStation controller if you want, but there's going to be a lot more configuration on your end. Um, that I'm not going to go over here. But the buttons do match, and I do mention the names of the buttons for both Xbox and PlayStation, so I think that's all set. So that being said, let's jump into configuring Silent Hill 4 so that the controls match the PlayStation 2. Okay, so I'm using the good old games version of Silent Hill 4 The Room. That is what I would recommend. That is the one I bought. I don't know of any other versions, like on Steam or anything, but uh, for our purposes, I'm going to be using the good old games version. I'm using my Xbox controller because to set up a PlayStation controller to work with good old games uh, in Windows is kind of a pain in the ass. So Xbox works right out of the box. You just have to do some editing to the control scheme. So open up good old games and then you get this little control button here and say manage installation show folder. And that brings up the installation folder right here. Now you want to make sure your controller is on before you open up sh4config. This is where we're opening sh4config. So my controller is on, so I'm opening up sh4config. So I'm going to start by clicking into default, ruining all my work. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's go in. Let's go into it. So uh, all of this is correct except for move left and move right. So I'm going to double click here and push L1 or right but or left button, and then I'm going to click here and push R1 or right button. So now this is all correct. So it works like the original PlayStation. These are two things that you're never gonna use, but uh, they help you navigate menus. So then we're gonna go over here to button two. And I'm gonna go over to button two. This one's slightly more difficult. Um, so it has our enter button as button two, which is this one. We don't want that. We want it to be X as we're all used to. So I'm just gonna click where it says enter and push button zero or X or cross, or an Xbox controller, A. <laughs> so many buttons. I'm gonna do the same thing for action investigate. I'm gonna push cross. There we go. And cross is this button right here. I always call it the X button, but it's officially the cross button. Who knew? Okay, cancel. Right now it's on button one, which is circle, which is good. That's what we want, but I'm gonna just gonna do it anyway. Circle, circle. Yeah, if the button is the same and you push it, it's gonna go to like, like that, and then you have to push it again, and then it comes up with the same button again. Okay, skip demo. Right now is select, but I'm gonna say start. I'm gonna use the start button. Pause, also gonna use the start button. Okay, ready weapon. I'm gonna push seven, which is R2, also known as right trigger. For evade, I'm gonna use the same as the cancel run button, so that's gonna be circle, or button one, or B on an Xbox controller. And then rear camera, I'm gonna push six, button six, which is L2, or left trigger. And then for run, I'm gonna do the same thing, circle, okay? And then I'm gonna to go to button three here. And for the scrapbook, I'm gonna use button 10 which is the left trigger, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, which is the left analog stick, pushing in on the left analog stick. For the map, I'm gonna use 
triangle or button three or Y on an Xbox controller. Use slash equip item. I'm going to change that to square or X on an Xbox controller. And then item info, I'm gonna to change to button eight, which is select. Which is what, yeah, it's select. Or I mean, it's many different things on many different controllers, but it's the left side of the start and select place. You see it right there. And then all the rest of them should be fine. All the, the camera left, camera right, that all should be fine. But that does refer to Z and RZ all refer to 11, which is the um, this guy here, that analog stick. Okay, so here we have Anna Y and Anna X, which both refer to this one. And then here we have Anna Z, Anna RZ, which refers to this one. Okay, so with all that set up, click OK and you have saved yourself two hours. It took me so long to do that on my own. Uh, I would not recommend changing control settings inside of Silent Hill 4. It is a massive shit show. I do not use that term lightly. So thank your lucky stars. You don't have to go through that and can maybe enjoy the game. I haven't enjoyed the game so far because I've been messing with the controls so much, but now that I have these controls, I'm gonna start playing it again and hopefully will enjoy it more because it was really quite a buzzkill. So um, that is how you configure the controls for the good old games version of Silent Hill 4. And I hope this was helpful. And I hope to see you again soon for more tutorials, more Silent Hill content, more reviews, and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching The Impatient Gamer. And I hope to see you again soon.